Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, and today, we'll be doing an unboxing and review video for the 1-6 scale Parkour Girl figure by Copycat. This one is supposed to be Faith Connors from Mirror's Edge Catalyst, but spoiler alert, this one is far from stellar. First-person gameplay and platforming are two genres that don't usually mix, which is why the free-running parkour mechanic from DICE's Mirror's Edge series is such a refreshing break from the conventions. Set in the futuristic, vibrant, yet dystopian City of Glass, off-the-grid rooftop messenger, Faith Connors is on a quest to take down its Big Brother-esque corporate overlord with a personal vendetta. Released in 2021, the box art is an incoherent mess. And if you're like me, and thought the front was this side, featuring the proper version of Faith Connors, with a bit of cut-off text, and this side being the back, with a version of Faith from the first game, who by the way, is an entirely different character, then you'd be wrong. Alright, I'm not gonna beat around the bush. The likeness to Faith is… not great. The paint app is a little coarse, as if the game forgot to load those HD textures on the face. And her signature bob cut is just wrong here, because the bangs don't have those sharp tips that curve upwards to the undershave on the back of her head. It feels like the sculptors are only using this rendering of Faith as reference material, so the portrait looks somewhat okay from the front. As soon as you brush the hair aside, or look at it from other angles, what little likeness it has quickly falls apart. They even missed the second spike on the corner of Faith's eye tattoo, which has been an iconic motif of the game. And the rooted hair isn't doing the portrait any favors. As mentioned before, the haircut looks wrong because of the missing undershave. But even if they tried, it wouldn't have worked anyway, because the base structure for the rooted hair looks really weird when the hair is too short. In contrast, sculpted hair would have worked a lot better here. Take for example this Ada Wong head sculpt from RE2 Remake by Master Team. Ada's hairstyle is a little similar to Faith's, but the bangs and hair tips do a much better job here at capturing the overall shape. But if we set the bar a little lower, the costume is at least somewhat of a saving grace. The overall profile to Faith is unmistakable, but here's where I'll point out that the character designers at DICE were very deliberate with Faith's fashion statement. There's a certain ebb and flow to the colors and minimalist design, and their genius do come through, despite a somewhat mediocre translation into the scale. The black tank top underneath is fairly typical, and the vest has the correct shimmer and red accents. But even with a wired lining in the bottom, the vest doesn't sit that well on the figure. The union of the sculpted sling bag and fabric strap is on point, but the details are a little bit on the rough side. The armband is once again typical, but the macrobe attachment on the wrists is sculpted in the same quality as the sling bag. Rough, but acceptable. It's actually pushed pretty far up the wrist, so I couldn't get it to budge, leaving the wrist joint constantly exposed. The slim white capri pants have that proper accent and flow, but I don't recall the seams on the back being this huge in the game. These straps by the cuffs are secured by a flimsy falcro lock, so they come flying off at the slightest touch. The white stripes are missing on these sculpted shoes, but they otherwise look okay. In the game, Faith's socks don't rise up to the ankles, but on this figure, the socks are here more or less out of necessity to cover up the unsightly joints. Oh, and the bad news isn't over yet, because there's still the matter of articulations. Copycat went for this hybrid seamless base body, similar to the ones used by IA Toys for the Serene Hound series. But the execution here is rather sloppy, as the physique looks a little awkward, and the vest is barely enough to hide this. Not only are there no muscle definitions that reflect Faith's athletic build, the seamless arms are riddled with bumpy artifacts. Oh and get this, the elbow bend actually differs between the left and right side. The legs are seamless too so they don't have the full bend, but since these pants are kinda long, I'd argue they should have just gone for the full double jointed knee instead. And for sculpted shoes that are actually separate at the ankles, the up and down motion is unfortunately hindered by the rubber legs, which is yet another huge blow to what little justice this body can do to represent Faith's athleticism. Not to mention, you will need a display stand for Faith to stand properly, which this release of course does not come with. And for the accessories, there's really nothing, which is fine because as a runner, Faith doesn't carry a lot with her, but it really bums me out that there are no additional posing options for the gloves. And to make things worse, the skin tone on the only gloved hand is slightly mismatched from the rest of the body. And for those who are still considering this figure, I have one more wrench to throw at you. 
Here are some size comparisons with some other female six scale video game characters, such as veterans from this channel, SW Toys Lara Croft 3.0, and War Story Tifa Lockhart. Then we have Ellie from Last of Us Part 2 by Master Team. Rebecca Chambers from RE0, also by SW Toys, and a female hunter class guardian from Destiny by 3A. Admittedly, most of these are unlicensed, but it doesn't change the fact that Faith is a little too short here. If we go by her height in the Mirror's Edge wiki, Faith should stand a little over 11 inches on this scale, but she's only a little over 10 and a half inches here, making her about the same height as Ellie. <sighs> so there you have it, the 1 6 scale, Faith Connors by Copycat. From a distance, the resemblance to Faith is undeniable, but I'd say that's more of a credit to the brilliance of the character design. Upon closer inspection, this figure shatters into glass shards. But to be fair, the promo pics for this release were never really that promising. After all, this is an unlicensed product, so it is what it is unfortunately. And if you're on the fence about buying this figure, I hope this was helpful in making a decision. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.